Hello champions. Welcome back to Jatai Feathers Razor Cutting Fundamentals class number three. Today we're going to work on how to layer. We've already worked on how to cut blunt, how to cut perpendicular and get movement. Now we're going to work on how to cut hair elevated in the head and how to cut hair elevated in the air so we can make sure we can get some nice layering going on. Now you can vary the amount of layering you get or the amount of weight removal you get by the razor stroke. The longer the stroke, the more weight removal that we get. The tighter the stroke, the more solid the line and the shape's gonna be. So we've already gone through and we've cut our perimeter shape. I did that exactly like I did in the one length cut. And now we're gonna go through and work on our face framing first and then use that as a guide for our shortest layering as we go out through the top. So let's get started. I don't know what this is. <laughs> now we've already cut our length like I said, so I want to go through and work on my face framing first. From here, I'm going to take the natural or center part, whichever is going to be the strongest. So for here, I'll work off the center. I'm going to lay my finger right to the top of the ear. Lay my comb at the front of the hairline where the head starts to curve and the comb leaves the head that's gonna determine the width of the section that I'm gonna take. Because this hair right here that I have sectioned off is all the hair that has the ability and the tendency to fall in their face. So I'm gonna cut that first and then we're gonna start layering it. So we'll take that on both sides. So I'm gonna start right in the middle, take me a little pie section, and here I wanna determine where my layering is going to hit in relation to the face, right? If I want bangs, I can cut that afterwards. If they already have bangs, I may take this section a little larger so that I can go ahead and start getting into my layering. Since she doesn't have any, let's just go ahead and determine. We're going to take a little piece and we'll determine about, about, to, her, about to her lip. So I'll go through. Take a pretty open stroke, cut that through. Now we've already got a nice light little bit of layer going on. Now from here, depending upon how solid I want my layering and how much fullness I want around the front will determine how I elevate this section. If I want a nice solid shape, then I'm going to comb everything down the piece of hair right by the ear is going to be my cut to length and this is my cut from length. So then I'm just going to blend those through to, I'm going to blend those two through at whatever angle it takes to connect those. If I want a little more of a curtainy kind of effect, a little curtain kind of layer, then what I'm going to do is pull forward, hold everything directly in front of the nose and cut from short to long down. Now I can go to this point or I can cut it shorter and have the weight shift behind the shoulder. Does that make sense? So on this particular cut, I'm going to pull everything forward. I'm going to pull everything forward. There is my short little bang piece. And then I'll just start going from short to long keeping about the same razor stroke that I had as I was going down. Pull this forward. There's the length. Cut that through and down. Now we've got a nice little layering that's already started going from our short to our long. And you can tell it's already starting to kind of curtain and feather back. Pull this section forward, rotate everything vertical. There's my little layering. Get the razor going. Through and down. Be patient as you're cutting. Don't try to muscle it and force it. If I find that I'm having to 
put pressure on the razor when it's laying against the hair and the motion's not cutting it enough, I need to replace the blade. Next section. And I will follow the head shape to make sure I can get both sides to match. So I took the high point of the head to the mastoid right behind the ear. Comb everything clean. Come on, baby, stay there. From the root out, there's my short piece in my line. Cut that down and through. There's my line, down and through. One more section and I should start to run out of hair. This is gonna go to the corner of the hairline in the back. Pull that through. Anything that hangs over, I cut off. Very little, nothing reaches, boom. We've done the entire right side. Next section, high point of the head, mastoid right behind the ear. Pull that forward, there's my go from. You can see a little bit of my guide underneath. Cut that through. The next piece. Cut that through. Boom. Last section. Cut that through. Now we basically have all of our layering around the front. It's time to go into the layering on top. From here, I'm gonna start right in the middle, have her look ahead, I'm gonna stand above her, and I'm gonna take a section right down the middle, and I wanna take a mohawk section. And I want a flat little mohawk section all the way straight through the entire top of the head. Pull this whole thing up. I can see where I've already layered around the front, so I'm gonna take from about the high point of the head as my guide and work that through the back to give me a little bit more layering around the back. So the important thing to remember is as I hold this section up with my left hand, I want a death grip on these fingers so that the hair doesn't fall out. And I'll notice it falling if I start pushing with the blade. So as I comb that up, death grip, there's my length I'm gonna go from, and I'm gonna basically rotate my hand underneath and slowly go up towards my fingers. Take a small piece of that hair that I just cut as my guide, comb this up and out, and continue that out and through. There's my length for the guide, continue out and through until I run out of hair, which should happen at about the occipital bone. There we go. Now I'm gonna take the entire mohawk section and comb it to the left side. From the left side, from the high point of the head, I'm gonna section down to the corner of the hairline. Now from here, I'm gonna hold these two sections together, 90 degrees from the head, hold up and out, invert my razor, and slowly, gently cut that through. I would practice this with the guarded styling razor first, before I started doing this with the plie razor that has no guard. Cut that up and through. Follow 90 degrees from the head. Now here, 
Just round that little bit out like that. I will remove the center section, push that over here out of the way. Then I'm going to pivot from the top of the head right behind the ear to the mastoid. Oops. Now I've got section two and section three. Okay, so now I'm going to take these two into the center of both sections. Up and out. There's my guide. Follow that out and through. There's my guide. Follow that out and through. It's important that I maintain enough tension. There's just a little bit there, so we're just gonna use your thumb technique and get that cleaned through. Remove section number two. Now, I'm gonna pivot again to the high point of the ear, the top of the ear. Comb these two sections together. Comb that up and out. There's my guide. There's not a whole lot to cut because we've already cut this around the front. But the methodology is the same. Hold up and out. If there's not enough length, use my thumb. Nothing else should reach, but let's just double check. And we're good. Come on, baby. No, oh, nice. Not bad. So now we've got the entire side of the head layered throughout. So not only is it layered around the front, but it's also layered throughout the back. So now to cut the other side, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to go back to my mohawk section. That was the first section that I started with my layering. Pin that hair out of the way. Take the left side, comb everything in. Hmm. I'm going to comb everything in with the mohawk section. Lay my finger at the corner of the hairline. Pivot from the high point of the head. Come on. Pivot from the high point of the head down to the corner of the hairline. Pin that out of the way. I've got these two sections, comb them together. In the center of both of those sections, I'm going to go up and cut. Now you see the problem. I have to cut on the inside. I can't cut on the outside. So I have to change my entire body position. So I have to cut it the same. So I'm going to rotate over here, up into the center. up and out. Take a small piece as my guide. My next section. Comb this up and out. There is my guide underneath. Cut that through. When I get to here, there's just a little bit on the bottom. Pinch that off. Remove the center. Push that over out of the way. On this side that I'm cutting, I'm going to pivot from the high point of the head to right behind the ear where the mastoid is. Pin this out of the way. So in the back, I'm pivoting. When I get to the sides, those are already cut because I pulled them forward and cut them. Small piece as my guide, comb those two to the center of both of those sections. There's my piece I'm going to cut. Cut that up and out. Everything that I'm cutting is being held at 90 degrees from the head. 
comb the previously cut section out. And now pivot from the high point of the head to the top of the ear. This really is the most important part or the most vital part of the, of the layering section because usually when I mess up my layering, I've layered too much in the back and as I come around to the sides, I end up cutting the entire side off. So this part here is the transition from the back of the head to the side of the head and it gives me a little bit of a safety net. So I can leave that longer and disconnect it from the back to make sure I don't end up cutting the sides off if I've cut the back too short or I can end up cutting it shorter to where it blends. Cut that, comb those two sections together, up and out. Cut that through, take a small piece as my guide next section 90 degrees there we go there is not much this section very little now let's go through and make sure nothing on the side of the head reaches just to be sure and safe and nothing does perfect so now we're all good here's our end result we got a, a nice kind of layering throughout the whole thing. Come here, babe, get your bangs out of your face. You can't be, you can't be being too mysterious now. Okay, so we got nice little bit of layering around the face. Let's spin her around here. We got a very nice, even amount of layering throughout the back. It's not center weighted, so we don't have a whole lot of buildup of weight in the back. It blends from the front to the back very well. The texture is very nice. You got a nice kind of texture from the razoring. Whereas to get this same sort of texture from a scissor, I would have to go through and thin the snot out of it. And this way I get just the amount of texture where I want it, just in the tips. Key things to remember when you're layering hair with a razor is first, do you want death grip on the section as I'm elevating it? And also the second is as I apply the razor stroke to the section, I'm not putting pressure of the razor against the hair. It's the movement of the razor that's going to cut the hair. The more pressure I apply, the more inconsistent my section cut is going to be. The more inconsistent it is, the more lumpy that my layering is going to be. I want my elevation to all be the same. I wasn't over directing anything except around the front. If I start to over direct the layering in the back, where I'm pulling it from is going to be less weight than where I'm pulling it to. Where I pull to is more weight, where I pull it from is less weight. So consistency and elevation, consistency in the application of my cut, and a death grip on the section. So I hope that helps, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Girl, you going out tonight? Look at this. This hair is too good. It makes me wish I had hair again. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm.